Hello, my name's Linda Strachan and I would like to read one of my books to you today. The book I was going to read is Hamish McHaggis and the Search for the Loch Ness Monster. And this is written by me and illustrated by Sally J. Collins. And there's a whole range of books about Hamish McHaggis. And this was actually the very first one. Hamish McHaggis. Well, here he is. He's very cuddly little haggis and he has a tartan hat and he, always, he has a little red nose. He always wears his hat. It makes him feel very comfortable. He's very cosy too. And he has some friends and one of his friends is Rupert. Rupert is a hedgehog and he comes from the south of England, a place called Kent. And he's travelling around all over Scotland, finding out about lots of things and places with his friends, Hamish McHaggis. And here's another one of Hamish's friends, Jeannie. And Jeannie is an osprey. Ospreys have really wide, wide wings when they're flying. And they, um, they're quite big birds. But Jeannie uh, really likes to paint her toenail, her claws pink and... She likes to wear her beads, but she gets a wee bit distracted sometimes when she's doing things. So that is Jeannie. And their other friend is Angus. Now, Angus is a Pine Martin and he's really the cheeky one of the bunch. Um, he likes to wear his red cap. He wears it back to front because he thinks it makes him look so cool. And he's always got his backpack and skateboard and he's always saying, <gasps> Where are we going? Are we there yet? What are we going to do next? And because he's so curious and always up to mischief, uh, he sometimes wanders off and he gets a bit lost. So this is Angus the Pine Martin. So, in the highlands of Scotland, there's a secret glen hidden away from the eyes of men. It's a cosy place called Cooridoon that can only be seen by the light of the moon. But if you're very quiet and don't start to blether, well, you might find Hamish McHaggis asleep in the heather. Can you see him there? And there's his little tummy, his tartan hat, and his little toes having a wee snooze in the heather. So the story today, The Search for the Loch Ness Monster. Here we are. There's the first page. In a secret glen in the highlands of Scotland, snuggled underneath the mountains, there's a little place called Cooridoon. And here you will find the McHaggis Hoggle. There it is there. The home of Hamish McHaggis and his friends. Snug in his cosy hoggle, Hamish McHaggis was settling down to munch on his favourite snack, roasted heather nuts and wild mint, when Rupert waved a leaflet in front of Hamish. This is rubbish. Everyone knows there's no such thing as a Loch Ness monster. N nonsense. Of course she's real, spluttered Hamish. Nessie's a good friend of Jeannie's. Angus giggled. Just wait till Jeannie hears that you think Nessie's not real. She'll flip. And just then, Jeannie crash landed through the doorway and she fanned out her wings in a cloud of dust. <coughs> Hamish spluttered, Jeannie! Oh, sorry, I was thinking about something else. Jeannie apologised as she skidded to a stop. Jeannie is a clumsy clops, Angus chuckled in a sing-song voice, wiping the dust out of his eyes. Guess what, Jeannie? Rupert doesn't believe in Nessie. I think we should take him to meet her. Oh, why yes, agreed Jeannie. What a good idea. Yippee, we're going to Loch Ness, Angus squealed. And so everyone started gathering all the things they would need for their trip. Um, said Jeannie, let me see. I promised Nessie that I would bring her some golf clubs the next time I visited. And I think I should take my rain hat just in case it gets wet. Hmm, 
thought Hamish. What can I put in my picnic basket? Hamish never likes to go anywhere without his picnic basket in case he gets hungry. Um, sandwiches, yes. Apples, maybe a few nuts. Oh, and I must remember to take my new scarf. Can you see his picnic basket? There it is there. And I think that's his scarf there. And Jeannie's rain hat. So, said Rupert, mustn't forget my camera, my briefcase with the maps, and, and my binoculars, and of course, my mobile phone. Ah, uh, said uh, Angus, skateboard, CD player, and headphones, they'll all fit in my backpack. So there's all the things. You can always have a look at the book sometime and see if you can find all the things they were taking with them. And once everything was packed up in the worry bang, they were ready to set off. The worry bang is their vehicle that Hamish takes everybody around in. Hurry up everyone, Hamish shouted and tooted on the horn, toot toot, and checked his picnic basket for the fourth time, just in case he'd forgotten anything. Angus, we're leaving! And Angus skidded down the nearest tree and leapt into the worry bang. And with a whirr and a clunk, a squee and a loud bang, they set off for Loch Ness. Are we there yet? Angus moaned from the back. We've just left, said Hamish. Hold on, everyone. And the worry bang flew around a corner on two wheels. Jeannie flapped her wings and took off, deciding it would be safer to fly. Oh, are we there yet? Angus moaned again a few minutes later. We've got to go to Inverness first, Rupert showed Angus on the map. And there's a sign. Can you see the sign? It says Inverness. Oh, I know that, said Angus, but are we there yet? Oh, had your wish, muttered Hamish. Rupert looked puzzled. It, it just means to be quiet, Hamish explained. And when they reached Loch Ness, the road was really busy with all the tourists going to look for Nessie with cars and buses. She won't come out just now, Hamish told Rupert. Nessie always hides from the tourists. She's very shy. I'll go and see if I can find her, Jeannie said, and she flew off across Loch Ness. I'm hungry. Let's go and find a place for our picnic, piped up Angus. I'm hungry too, said Hamish. You're always hungry. I wanted to look for the monster, Rupert grumbled as he packed up his binoculars and climbed back into the worry van. Get out of the way, Angus! Jeannie put one foot out, trying to slow herself down, and a fountain of water came and splashed over everyone. But Angus ducked down and Jeannie missed him by a feather. Oh, did you find Nessie? Hamish asked, squeezing the water out of his soggy sandwich. Oh, no one's seen her today, but the seagull said she might be at Drum the Rocket near the visitor centre. And then Jeannie shook the water from her wings and showered everyone again. Well, I think we should look there next. So they finished their picnic quickly and set off again in the worry bag. When they got to the visitor centre, they found lots of Nessie toys. So what does Nessie look like? Asked Rupert. Is she a bit fluffy like, like this one? Uh, perhaps more like this one. Fluffy green one there and a yellow one there. Uh, Nessie's not really like any of these, Jeannie said. And she's probably gone away to home to her cave for some peace and quiet away from all the tourists. I think we should go and have a look in her cave. It's not very far. And there they are going into Nessie's cave. Hamish led the way into Nessie's cave. He lit a candle, but when the flame fluttered in the breeze, it made scary shapes on the walls. 
Angus was hiding behind Hamish and, and Rupert. It, it's dark and scary in here. Do you think Nessie will mind us coming to visit her? Oh, don't worry, Angus, Jeannie said. Nessie loves having visitors. And they went deeper and deeper into the dark cave. The wind howled and the candle flickered and Angus was scared. Oh, I, I can see a light over there, whispered Amish, trying, trying very hard to be brave. And then the cave opened out into Nessie's bright and cosy living room. She's not here, said Angus, but look, she's left a note. Can you see it in the milk bottle there? And the note said, Dear Milkman, no milk for the next two weeks, please. I'm away on my holidays. Nessie. Well, can you see? Nessie's got a picture of herself up on the wall. There. So they packed up the worry bang and headed off back home to Koori Doon. I knew we wouldn't find Nessie, mumbled Rupert. And it goes with a whir and a clank and a bang. And then when they got home, there was a postcard from Nessie. And you see, it says, wish you were here, Nessie. Do you think Nessie's having fun on her holidays? There, she's got her beach ball and her beach hat. It looks very nice there. At the end of all the Hamish McHaggis books, there's a did you know section, which tells you things. And in this one, it tells you what Kuridun means. It means to snuggle down and be cosy. Uh, what Hodger wished, if you remember, that's what Hamish said when Angus wouldn't stop chattering. And blether, well, maybe Angus was blethering because that means to gossip or chatter. And druthy means thirsty, shugly, means shaky and bray means hill and glen means a valley. These are all words that are used in Scots. And here we have some information about pine martens and ospreys and all about, uh, there's something about hedgehogs there as well and a little bit about haggis. It's commonly thought that a haggis has three legs Two long and one short. This always makes Hamish laugh. And it tells you about Loch Ness. It's 23 miles long and a mile wide. And Drumna Drocket is a village at the side of Loch Ness. If you remember, that was where they went to the visitor centre. And there's one other thing about the Hamish books I want to tell you, just in case you haven't found it yourself. At the top of each book, there's a little mini beast. And in this book, it's a caterpillar. And that means that you have a look, if you have a look in the book, you'll see on the page where you tells you all about the characters, you'll see on Hamish's hat, there's that little caterpillar. And every time you turn a page in the story, somewhere across that page, you have to look and see. Can you see where the caterpillar is in this page? Can you see where it's hiding? Here it is, there it is. And every, every page, whenever you turn the page, somewhere across that page, you will find a caterpillar to look for. And all the different books in the Hamish series have different little mini beasts and you'll find them all at the top where it says Hamish McHaggis, all the different ones. And there's lots to collect. I hope you've enjoyed Hamish McHaggis and the search for the Loch Ness Monster. Perhaps I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.